this week's episode, my Uncle Steve and my cousin Josh head to New Mexico to hunt elk with Sterling Hendricks. My dad and I have hunted with Sterling in the past and been very successful. Now let's see how their hunt goes. Arrive at camp, unpack, and head out to scout for elk. I'm looking at this really nice mule deer. Really nice mule deer, but he keeps moving. What are we hunting though? The not hunting mule deer. <laughs> but we're dreaming about hunting mule deer because we see this really nice one. That's elk. That's I see elk now. <laughs> Nothing huge, but I see elk. We're looking elk. We got one bull and some cows out there right now. And then a thunderstorm just went over top of us and got Austin all wet. And uh, we're trying to take pictures and take of lightning and waiting for tomorrow to start go hunting. It's really bright. <laughs> day one, we're here, New Mexico, the first day out. We just parked the truck, we're gonna start hiking up to see if we can find some elk. It's still dark, so we got a little ways to go yet. Hopefully we can get on a nice one this morning. All right, go do some hunting. Stay tuned to see if my uncle can kill his bull on the first morning. This segment brought to you by Whitetail Institute. Research equals results. Welcome back. It's day one on my Uncle Steve's elk hunt in New Mexico, and they just spotted some elk. Let's see if they can make something happen. I think uh, we've got one bull down in the valley in front of us. Two bugling over the hill. Uh, we're gonna go take a look, see what the ones over the hill look like. Um, so we're just trying to find something good to, to hunt today. And um, there's a couple choices. 
choices here anyway. Hopefully we can find the big one and get this uh, one done today, hopefully. there I guess for today. I'm gonna look for something a little bit bigger I guess. Shortly after they pass on this bull, they have a close encounter with another bull. a nice five by five. He just had, well, actually had a little point on the one side, be six, but he wasn't quite what we'd seen earlier that got away on us, so we could have took him probably, I don't know, four or five times, <laughs> but he's, we're waiting for him to get bigger. Hunter Safety System introduces the Limus Shield, the first ever scent control harness. Okay, we are uh, just heading back and Austin spotted the bull that we'd seen laying down, couldn't tell what it was, and we put a scope on it, it's a 7x7, seven seven, so we are definitely going to go uh, put a stock on it and see if we can make something happen today.
The cows got nervous and moved off, but they still hadn't gotten their eyes on the bull yet and they knew he was close by. They gave one last call and the bull finally showed himself and he was only 70 yards away. down. It's easier. I got him. I got that seven by seven we were after. Uh, everything happened really fast at the last minute. Uh, the cow had us busted and she was not uh, sure what we were. She kept barking at us. Oh, we're, we're in trouble. And and uh, I said, he's got to be up here somewhere. And all of a sudden Sterling says, there he is. He just got up. He's behind that tree. I went, oh, he says, he's going to walk out to the cow. You're going to have to shoot her off hand. I'm going, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. He's got to be up here somewhere. And he's dead. There he is. I go, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, there's seven. Oh, nothing broke off. It's beautiful. First uh, day hunting in Mexico with Sterling. And we've been out uh, hiking all morning. We've seen several bulls. And uh, we've seen some that we've passed. And then we've seen one that busted us. It was really nice and got away. Worked our way up the ridge found the 7x7 seven seven and uh, actually made it worth it today. So we got the 7x7 seven seven that we saw really this morning. I think Sterling spotted it once. I think it was the only elk that I spotted today. Austin's been seeing everything. <laughs> He's gonna have to get hired on as a guide. <laughs> we came up the ridge. We knew where they were bedded. And we came around the corner and a cow kept barking at us. So we kind of figured that it was over. Well, as it was pretty much over with, he lo and behold stood up right where we could have seen him the whole time and uh, presented a shot. And the is. five by five is down. No, five by five. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of funny though, because you, you just said, I don't know what we're going to do. And we're, I don't, you kind of, we're, we're kind of shaking our head. And I go, he's got to be up here somewhere. And then right. three seconds later, he stands up and go, there he yeah, is. And, like, okay. Went, went from zero to a hundred real quick. Yeah, he says he's gonna go to that cow, you're gonna shoot off hand, and he stepped out and I shot. So, we made it happen. First seven by seven of my life. What an awesome bowl for my Uncle Steve. When we return, my cousin Josh tries to fill his tag. This segment brought to you by Marathon, fueling the American spirit. Fruits of our labor, a little bit of elk backstrap, a little bit of elk tenderloin. We're gonna just see how uh, he tastes. After a good meal and a good night's sleep, they head out the next morning to try to get my cousin Josh his bull. They got to their spot before daylight and there was already elk bugling everywhere. Mm. 
Good. Time to Time. I hit him. Let's get another one in him. Get another one in him. Okay, find him first. Okay, go into the right. <laughs> Nice job, Josh. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Do the high thing again. Take money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we uh, came out this morning and we came over this ridge and we were looking and I don't know. There there looked to be some good bulls, but it was just getting light. We really couldn't tell and. The herd bull was really, really aggressive, and we were just focused on him, and this guy was just kind of out by himself, and uh, we got to looking at him finally and thought, well, golly, he's better than the herd bull. So uh, we got in on him and uh, made a good shot, and uh, now we've got some meat to put away. We've got another one to put away in the freezer and put this guy on top, and uh, We'll eat as much as we can because we're going to be cooking up some uh, backstrap and tender here in a few minutes and uh, have a little late breakfast. Another great bull down. That night they went out after some feral goats. <laughs> we got bored today so we decided to go for a walk up a mountain trying to find some feral goats. And it's all uphill from here. But we're seeing elk and having fun and it's a great place out here. You want me to shoot first? Shot, shot. It's so good. So hunting with Sterling and we've just had a great hunt. We've shot two nice elk and now we've decided to go out today and start hiking around and found two nice feral goats. I just shot this one. Josh has got one on this side of the hill that we gotta go recover yet and uh, it's been a great hunt. I mean we just can't have any more fun than this. So today's our travel day. We've uh, succeeded. We've killed uh, two nice elk and two nice goats, and we're heading for home. What a great way to end the trip. Thanks for watching, and make sure and tune in next week and stay up to date with everything we do in the outdoors on social media and at bigboystv.com. <laughs> Nat Purdy? I don't know why I can't do this one. I had to give you a few bloopers. At, I don't, I don't know. I was like running out of breath. Like.